Well, only a handful of Austin restaurants can say they were here before Interstate 35 was built, and one of them is closing its doors this weekend. The owners of El Gallo on South Congress tell KXAN's Amanda Brandeis this is happening for several reasons, including the rising cost of property taxes, and they are not the only ones being priced out. Ramos, table for three. After the last plate is served, El Gallo Ramos. customers will remember more Ramos. than just the food. You can probably stop at any table right now and they'll tell you a story. Like Erica Wesson. I would bring my grandmother in here every single weekend. I even brought her in here a few days before she died, actually, because she wanted to have one last meal here. I remember when Miss Kennedy was here, she went around, she greeted all the customers. While El Gallo's menu hasn't changed much in 60 years, the city around it has. You know, we only raise your price is a quarter, we've raised one quarter in five years. You know, that just doesn't cover, cover a, a double in property taxes, utilities, payroll, cost Owners want to go out on a high note rather than be forced out of business. We've got to be able to plan for growth. We've got to be able to anticipate growth. Austin's so, Chamber know, of Commerce says property taxes are hurting a lot of businesses. It's due to insufficient supply, and it's also due to a state property tax on Schools that Drew Sheberly says affordability must be the city's focus in 2017. We need to update what we're calling code next. The city is calling code next so that we anticipate growth, we plan for growth. So businesses that helped lay the city's foundation can live on in its future. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. El Gallo's last day to be open is this Sunday. The Chamber of Commerce says we can expect to hear more of the city's plan to tackle affordability in the coming weeks. A 2015 study from WalletHub found Texas has the fifth highest average real estate tax in the nation. It found Texans pay an average of more than $3,000 a year in property taxes. The national average in 2015 was just over $2,000.